I was saying earlier, the virtual retina display will actually take the form of a contact lens, which will be able to put into your eye and it replaces a normal contact lens. And in order to minimize all of the things that are needed to form this device, nanotechnology will have to be present. And electrical transmitters will, and receivers on the device will have to be necessary in order to power the device for complete functionality. And in order to access databases such as the internet or a personal computer at home, such as what I'm showing here, you will need wireless signal receivers on the device as well. Now, in order to create the images that you will be seeing from the device, photon emitters will also have to be present. Yes, sir. So, yeah, as I was saying, these photon emitters will be able to beam light directly inside to your retina. So only you can see it, the images that are being projected by it, and no one else. So the technology that has to be created in order for this device to happen, as I'm saying here, you will need to be able to form nanotechnology in order to create this really small piece of technology. And as well, there will also be widespread wireless technology in order to create the necessary connectivity that is necessary. In addition, the retinal beaming technology, as I was mentioning earlier, will also have to be present. And the, abil the ability to convert information from data to the light that's beamed into your eyes, and vice versa, will also have to be present. As well, perhaps in the future, we will be able to create accessories for the device, such as audio, that can be used to play music. Yes, sir. So yes, iPods and MP3s can be replaced because the VRD will be able to access data that, it, that, that doesn't have to be present on a hard drive with it. So you can create uh, technology that, is, that renders iPods, MP3s, or any other kind of audio playing device completely obsolete. <laughs> Popping VRDs in the eyes Like a robot When we speak we turn it on Point oh one while checking emails In my ride, in my ride Like a drive-by Now I'm feeling so fly With my eye eyes With my eye eye With my eye eye na, 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 na. Now I'm feeling so fly With my eye eye With my eye eye With my eye eye na, 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 na. Now I'm feeling so fly With my eye eye Who that live stream vid? Who that Twitter kid? Please love my style With my beardy getting wild Get them riffs playing We get that virtual screen now see me watching YouTube, cause to you they're unseen. Oh yeah, nanotech, use nanotech. When old computers round me, they be acting like they love. They be acting like they love. Acting, acting like they love. When old computers round me, they be acting like they love. Uh, uh. The lens is set. The page is loading. It is here. It's loaded at last. I see in my eye the same sight that you would see through your own eyes. The day has come when the keyboard and mouse fail. When we Facebook our friends and lose all forms of social life. But now with the VRD, whatever happens, don't log off. This day, VR! So these devices will be powered through the use of electrical impulse transmitters and receivers. The receivers on the technology will be present on the actual contact lens itself, while the transmitters will be located on a device which is, can be like a chip and you can take it out to charge somewhere else. And so the power consumption of this device, since it's low, is only limited to hundredths of a watt at the most. And thus, because of this low uh, battery usage, the battery itself is small and it's minimal and the charging time thus for this battery is low while the usage time for the entire device is high. Yes sir. Well this device can be charged with the use of electrical transmitters which are located on a chip. When you take this chip out of the device you can simply put it into another device which you can use to charge by plugging it into a wall outlet. So that's it and are there any other questions? Mm -hmm. Yes sir. Well, the impact on society will be huge because as you've seen here, the presence of nanotechnology will mean that the world will be forever revolutionized. And the presence of the retina beaming technology will potentially replace all of today's digital and pixelated screens. In addition, 
the interconnected user interface will give the world an even smaller and more connected global village than ever before. And the integrated personal computing will mean that everyone can, is, has the potential to see what you are doing with your life. And that eliminates the barrier of personal computing and puts everyone into like a single user group which allows for this real-time sharing and real-time viewing. <laughs>